Hi, this is Alexandra and Kiani. We're going to be talking about some paintings today. Um, the first one is going to be Francisco Goya's uh, Witches in the Air. And Kiani will be also talking about Edward, Ed, Edward, Edward, Edward Munch, uh, Munch, uh, The Scream of Nature. Uh, so let's look at this piece right now, Kiani. All right, let's do it. So we're witches and angels. Uh, Francisco Goya loved this type of stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. he uh, painted a lot of this because they represented a rough time in his life. So just like we have rough times when PUC gives disgusting food is yes, a really yes. oh. witch-like move mm -hmm. and the angels represent the weekend when we are able to go home. Don't you live close, Keanu? Yes, I do actually. Okay. It's very nice. Yeah, so so this represents this time in his life when he had so many miscarriages he thought that witches were like death. So he represented them like death, you know. It's almost as if it's realistic. Yeah, no, no, no. I could totally feel the pain of someone just losing a baby. Yeah, so, so in this painting, as you can see, there's three witches with dunce hats. And uh, there's a man and they're eating him, but on the ground there are two men and it's like one is covering his head with a sheet and the other is covering his ears. What do you, what do you see in that? It almost looks like it's the see no evil or the hear no yeah, evil. Yeah, yeah, like the paint. Yes, definitely. I see that. So in this painting, I definitely interpret that. The, that Goya is like talking about religion like there's a yes. sense of divine there's a sublime in this so the dunce hats also look like priest hats as though he's mocking the priest yeah. and he looks like those witches are eating the guy and the people there yes, yes. you know what's funny about yeah. the hats or the witches yeah it doesn't even look like the witches it's but they're kind of portraying a different picture. Like a to real this. person. Yeah. I see that. Yeah, like priests. So I also see that. I also believe that the man that the witches are eating are actually Jesus Christ, as though he's wow. crucified. And the rule of three is really being shown. And the people. It's very remarkable. Yeah, it's very outstanding. And I feel like the people there are like ignoring the fact that this is God. This is their creator. And they don't want to see this really happen. Yeah. It's almost like it's real. I can feel it. You can't. Oh, I can feel it too. Yeah. So there's a lot of chairs. Guru, and uh, you know, uh, it says that Goya, you know, what he hated the most with a cold and unrelenting passion is hypocrisy, and that's what he did here. He he made the the witches look like priests as though they're hypocrites and as the people are hypocrites, you know. And also, Goya was obsessed with like a lot of transformation of individuals when they join together in a mob. If you look at Goy's paintings, a lot of them are just in a big mob. And it, it makes you wonder, are you part of that big power scheme of just being in a group? Or are you like the individuals who don't do anything? Like, like the outsiders. Yeah, like the outsiders who just sit with a sheet over their head. It makes you wonder, yeah. Wow. So we're going to skip ahead from Goya's 1797 to Edward Munch's 1893, The Scream of Nature. And what can I say? It's very emotional and intense. Yes. And it's very, his life is projected through his paintings. And you can see it through here. Yeah, I really feel like... I can relate to the scream. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel when I see my tuition, uh, oh, my tuition, you know, tuition. and how I feel about guys not being in our dorms oh, yes. and the food. That this makes I me wanna scream. Ah. Yeah, that bass is just very. I I can I can feel it. Yes. Well, let's start with his life first. So Edward Munch had a really alone life. He lived 
alone for 27 years mm -hmm. because he had a lot of tragedies in his life. Wow. Yes, it's very sad. Um, his mother had tuberculosis and died when he was five years old. Oh, his my. sister Sophie died when he was 14 years old. Oh, wow. His other sister Laura died from a mental illness. And his father experienced depression when his wife died. So mm. you could totally see why he would feel this pain. Yeah. You can see through. We saw this painting as one of the icons of modern art because people can totally relate to the feelings of anxiety and uncertainty. Yes, I definitely can relate to it of how about how I'm going to be feeling for a professor's final exam. Yes. Carpenter, yes. Yes, my favorite professor. Yes. In life. Definitely favorite, mm -hmm. yeah. Anyways, to continue this remarkable painting you could totally see the stress and anxiety projected into the way the colors move in different directions like there looks like like a typhoon over yes. there in the distance like he wants to be swallowed in it but it's almost like they're complementary colors yeah complementary opposite right right yeah and also, this figure doesn't, we don't know if it is a man or a woman. It's sexless. Yeah, it, I think he himself represents nature. Yes. But the way his shoulders shrug and just grab onto his face makes me feel uncomfortable. And Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so, you know, um... Where this was taking place, this dock was actually above a slaughterhouse. Oh, it's real. Yeah, wow. and it was also above a mental hospital. And you could actually, from his from his interpretation, you could actually hear the sounds from the slaughterhouse and the mental hospital. Oh my gosh, no wonder yeah, nature seems some, so scary. Yeah, and it helped inspire his work and creativity, and he can remember the pain feeling after the death of his mother. And wow, just almost like he crazy. heard his sisters cry. Yes, because that's what his sister Laura died from yeah, mental, mental illness. Yeah. But yeah, but Edward Munch believed that art should describe true feelings inside, yeah. not the external reality. And it should record the impact and remember the scenes that he experienced on his own. I definitely agree. And I think that that's probably the face we make. When, yeah. When we feel a certain way, it's just the expre our default expression. And yeah. I feel like Munch really expresses that he is in pain and yes. nature is in pain we aren't treating it right yes definitely yeah kiani so i love this wonderful conversation mm -hmm. we're having but i think it's past curfew <gasps> and i don't oh, think you no. can use another three pinks or else you'll be on restriction oh yes this makes me actually want to scream yeah as as though the witches of the school are like the things eating you yeah yeah oh well thanks so much everyone for listening this was really helpful and i mm -hmm. i hope you have a great day and do do well on finals thank you so much goodbye <laughs>